Namaste, Nepal. They say the best way to get to know a culture is through their food. So today, Jose and I are going to take in a 1,000 rupee challenge. We're going to see how much food we can get. And of course, we're going to have some peaks. Man, we love Nepalese food. We're going to have some valleys. But it's going to be a great time. All right, let's go, guys. pass by here all the time and every time we're going by we're like we're gonna stop and we're gonna get a smoothie or a shake or something we never do today it's different because we're gonna start the day off with a shake or a smoothie or just something good <laughs> can i do a carrot juice please yes just one please one, one yes one carrot yes we're starting off with something that i would never ever ever get but i know that i <laughs> It's not gonna be a bad thing for you. You probably need it for this cold. Helps boost the immune system. Exactly. That was my that was my thought process. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna pretend like I knew exactly what I was walking in here to get. Rookie mistake. Yeah, I never even had some nice. It's the first thing I always ask. Let's hope it's not. Oh, this looks good. Where's the best? How much is that? So I failed. It's <laughs> 250 rupees. Fresh carrots, though. I mean, I'm not gonna complain, but uh, this is why you ask the price before you purchase. So uh, we're either going to pretend like this did not happen and start the whole process over again. Or we're just gonna be really, really thrifty and find the best, best food. Also, this is even technically it is a food because it's carrots. So, oh, see. Okay, complete honesty. That's my first time having carrot, carrot juice. <laughs> it tastes just like a carrot in a juice form, but it tastes very refreshing. There's not much to it. It's a freaking carrot. You can see carrot juice anywhere in the world. <laughs> I just chose to start my... Oh, they only have 250 rupee left. <laughs> Hello. We just do one stop road. We were just walking down one of these streets, saw these rotis, and since we've been in Kathmandu, I've been dying to try one. So True. this is the perfect time to see what these rotis are all about. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> All right, as I was saying, I've been wanting to try these roti. It's called a cell roti. It's made out of rice flour. And you would think it's like one massive onion ring, but it's actually kind of like a rounded donut. Ready? And they're fresh. Wow. So it tastes just like an old fashioned donut with some powdered sugar actually infused within the rice flour. It's one of the Nepalese like go-to breakfasts here. And people will usually have it with coffee or chia. And if you all know, Will loves chia, so if you pair those two together, this would be the perfect go-to snack. Even though this wasn't part of my, <laughs> I've already spent my budget. <laughs> oh man. Also, if you've seen that, is that an overpriced? Let me know, because I feel like maybe that was a little bit more expensive. All right, we're trying this. Well, he shoes, I have something to say. It's light, it's airy, and it only cost us 10 rupees. So I still have another 490 rupees to go. A Nepalese funnel cake. Mmm, yeah. It tastes like a funnel cake almost. It's really good. I see why people love eating that. What a well balanced by carrot juice and a little roti. Also, I know this is yours, I've already ate like all of this. So <laughs> here, here, thank you. Go get yours. Can I get one of those? Yes, it's better the same thing. Um, no, but... It tastes like the cell roti. It actually might be the same thing. I wasn't not sure. The middle is a little bit thicker, so it's softer. And I actually think I prefer this. And you get more for your butt because it's the whole thing. It is good. And it was 10 ruby. So now I have 240 ruby to play with. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going.
Oh, I was just giving it to you a hold. Oh. Yeah, nice. You honestly just never know what you're gonna run into here in the streets of Kathmandu. And that is 100% the charm. I love when people are just celebrating. Okay. There's obviously a reason behind it, but I, I, I love it. I love seeing people just celebrate. Hello. Hello, big or small? Uh, let's do a small one. One is small? No, sir. All right, guys, we find ourselves now in this like very busy intersection where we stumble upon Lassi. It's a very popular Nepalese street. Uh, it's made out of yogurt, spices, and fruit. In this case, we have dry fruit. The texture is like very like jello like. Mm. Just like yogurt, it's sweet. The dry fruits actually add to the flavor, and it only costs us 45 rupees for the small cup. I don't know about you guys, but I think I've been finding the best spots. If that is not shade, I don't know what is. Also, bro, you're gonna save any second half so? Oh, oh, thanks. Mm, let me try it. That's good. That's really good. Okay. <laughs> you ain't getting this back. <laughs> Holy crap. That is good. The dry fruits and the peanuts are a game changer for this. Mm -hmm. But the yogurt on its own is bomb. Oh, he's, he can yeah. his hand back over here to get it. <laughs> Let me get one more and then I'm done. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. So in America, Jose would always make fun of me because I would always go after this Yoplait yogurt. I think it's like a children's yogurt to be quite honest with you. Because then you could put like M&Ms on it. But it was, it was good. It was, it was like, it's just good. This reminds me of that Yoplait. Mm -hmm. This is a perfect yogurt. It's rich, it's light. It's rich, it's light. I'm just saying what he's saying. <laughs> Man, we love Nepalese food. Yeah, as you can see, guys, we've been talking about vegetables, fruits, everything. The amazing thing about Nepal is they have such great vegetation. Pretty much any fruit, vegetable, we have seen here. So it's nice to be in a country where it's just readily available everywhere. <laughs> Namaste. Man. Thank this you. Is, thank you. <laughs> this is not part of the budget. This stuff is so good. Oh my gosh. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Chia, you're going to see this everywhere. And it is not part of the budget. I don't care how much it is. I would pay 250 rupees for this. I don't care. <laughs> It's, basically, it's milk tea is what it is. Um, but man, this stuff has became a daily ritual for us, at least a couple times a day. And it's usually 20, 30 rupees. All right, you ready? <sighs> Let's go. Oh, we're getting the performance <laughs> in. <laughs> Damn, we were just literally walking down the road and Will's Chia detector just went off. He's taking <laughs> full force right now. Let's go find some more food. Yeah, he just like immediately, like she was even taken by surprise. But hey, you need that chia to complete your day here in Nepal. Or start your day. <laughs> or start your day in this case. It's both. You both. both. <laughs> so at the moment, you guys are walking through a bazaar. There are plenty of bazaars here in Kathmandu. You can find pretty much everything and anything that you're looking for, from gym shoes to topis to any like warm gear that you're needing if you're gonna go trekking or just need another layer. Uh, they'll have it here, and as the day progresses, there are more and more things being put out. So there's a saying that says you can find anything from salt to goats here, and it's a it's an expression to say that whatever you need in life, you'll find it at a bazaar. How's it, Chia? finished. I didn't even offer you any. I'm sorry. Did you want one? No, I'm okay. Yeah, because it's going to have to come out of your budget. Oh, wait. I just, wait, wait. <laughs> so I have 1010 rupee. Okay, 
that's fine. <laughs> We've been here long enough. We know that we can do plenty with that. We can do plenty with that. Five hundred rupee. You have it upside down. Ah, there you go. Thank you, sir. I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yum 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 yum. I can eat samosas literally for breakfast lunch and dinner because they're that good and they're the size of my forehead you guys take a look uh, a little bit smaller but yeah oh sweet oh no <laughs> you gotta put five of those together so the samosa is like a it's a puff pastry in the outside it's it. and this sauce is like masala sauce uh, but inside once i bite into it, it's gonna be like lentils ginger cumin potatoes cumin, cumin. Um, it's mostly a potato mixture. Yeah. yeah. Vegetables. Here's the thing. Will and I can easily be vegetarian. Actually, we haven't had any meat for the past seven days now. Just because of how they cook their vegetables here. Gotta go for a second bite. Okay, well, that's enough of watching you. So, um, yeah, about that. Oh, does the camera want some? No, the camera's already eaten, but uh, I have not. So, what, what's happening here? Are we going to, there you go. No, you're gonna keep going? Oh, another one? The price for the samosa was 35 what? rupees. Sure you don't want to buy? No. Oh yeah, he's looking his lips behind the camera, you nope, guys. I'm leaving. <laughs> we got, I got other places to go. Bye. After a money check, we actually have 630 rupee left. So, guys, we have not spent that much. I was not in the least bit confident when we started out with my uh, carrot juice this morning, <laughs> but uh, looks like we're in a good roll. All right, let's keep it going. Let's go. Look at those. Those. Oh, not in my budget. Not in the budget. Not in the budget today, William. <laughs> Man, Cadbury is the best chocolate, and it's thanks to the Philippines that exposed me to that brand because that is the best brand of chocolate. Actually, Cadbury is where it's at. And I think in the Philippines, I eat <laughs> chocolate bar, what? Every Twice other a day? Week? I did oh. not eat it every other day. So that is a blatant ass lie. Yeah, that's true. That is a blatant lie. So you are not slander my name. <laughs> you will. All right. Your public apology right this second. I will take back what I said and I apologize to you, William. Accept it this time. <laughs> Can we get one order of vegetable bowls, please? Yeah, one order. All right, if you go to the mall, there's no chance you're not gonna know what momos are, eat momos, love momos. Basically just dumpling. Um, they can be filled with vegetable or meats. We prefer the vegetable sort. They're so, so, so good. Um, whenever you're in Nepal, when you get the menu, you will always see a vegetable, a chicken, and a buff, buff option. At first, when I read buff, I thought like, ooh, buff, like protein, like just in the sort of the protein. Like protein? No. <laughs> But it's actually short for buffalo, since they don't eat cow here, since they worship the cow and consider it holy. Buffalo is the next option for them to eat. So they have buff mummels here, chicken mummels, and veggie mummels. I don't even know how much it was. 110. 110 for the veggies. It's gonna come out of yours? What? But I only have 210 left. That means I won't. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna combine them. Because <laughs> I think it, for this video, it makes more sense to be combined. Combined? Yeah. We're gonna combine. What's yours is mine, and what's mine is yours. Nope. Happy Wait. wife, happy life. Man. Also, usually when you get them, you'll see the different sauces. I, I don't know what the proper name is for it. I know there's another one that's just like this. I think it's made out of tomato. But you also get your chilies. You can't go wrong. I see why people talk so highly of these. 
so good. So good. Stuff with all these vegetables. Next to tacos, burgers, pizzas, and sweet potato fries. In sushi. Momos, oh, sushi. Momos sit high on our list of favorite foods to eat. Like, not only are they massive, but you get like a plate of 10 of them for just under a dollar. Uh, I do why. So you'll notice at restaurants that you're leaving, they'll have a tray of like, I don't know what it is. He called it soap. Soap? Yeah. It's supposed to cleanse the palate. You put like a little bit of that and a little bit of that. It tastes like black licorice mixed with like a, a wheat. And it cleanses the palate for sure. It is a strong, strong taste. And I only use one piece. I can smell it coming out of your breath. It's like minty. You're welcome. Yeah. 110 rupees later, our bellies are full. So we're gonna walk it off because tomorrow we're heading to Pokhara and we need to find out where this bus station is at. Well, has the bus terminal on Google Maps right now. It's a 20 minute walk, so enough time to let the food digest before we continue on on this wonderful food tour across Kathmandu. Thank you, sir. Ha ha ha. Oh, these are amazing. Are they? Oh. Holy crap. <laughs> this is actually my new favorite thing. New favorite? By far. It's that potato chip flavor, crunch with the soft <laughs> inside, the stuffing, the potato. Oh no, this is like perfect. What? This Remember? is coming out of your, <laughs> out of your. No, we combine. We combine budget. Oh yeah, never mind. Enjoy. <laughs> I mean, like, try it, try it, try it. Oh yeah. So the filling itself is on the more room temp. It's more on the colder side. And there's like lentils, garlic, onion. It tastes like a Mexican tostada. And I hate that I keep connecting the food we've been trying to Mexican food, but it's good. And the sauce itself is spicy. And they're actually called pani puri. They're so good. And I think there's different kinds you can get also. A dahi it really puri. Comes to, yeah, a dahi puri, which is more sweet, correct? Mm -hmm. I believe. See, I'm learning. I'm slowly <laughs> but surely learning here. Man, Nepal, like, come on. Like, literally, every single thing we've had tried today has been so good. We're exceeding already the amount of food we thought we were going to get with our 1,000 rupees. And it just shows how affordable and tasty it can all be here in Kathmandu. All right, I lied. We were going to be done, but I saw him making, I think it's a samosa chaat. And I'm like, that looks too good. I am not walking away from here without trying it. And it's still on our budget, I think. It's 100 rupees. Oh. Whoa. All right, here we go. Let's try this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like it's a, almost like a deconstructed samosa. The sauce they give you, it's the same here. It's very sweet, but it has that kick of pepper afterward. Oh, this is good. This is perfect. This is a perfect one to go. I'm not ready to commit to lunch or dinner, but I need an in-between snack. Ah, okay. This is perfect. The one bad thing when it comes to finding something so good in one stall is that you're now tempted to try every other item they sell. And visuals are key for any foreigner. If you have images of what you're selling, it's definitely just gonna draw in anyone and wanna order what you have. To be fair, we might have missed this place had we not. Actually, I know we would have missed this place had we not come over here to find our bus stop. When we walked by this, we saw the curry. We're like, okay, we got to try this. Big spender. All right, there you go. Thank you guys. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. How much do we have left? Three twenty. Damn. Damn. We had a lot of food, and you about ate 
<laughs> the sidewalk. <laughs> Good, you got them finished? Thank you. Oh my gosh. These are great. All right, so we passed this place going to eat one evening. And we're like, holy crap. Because we see that he's doing all the stitching. He was on his machine doing it. So of course that drew our interest and we're like, okay, we need to go look and see what we, this is. And then the more we talked to him, we're like, you know what? We should have a custom patch made. He star with the Nepal flag. Does not get better than that. He literally turned this around in one day for us. Very, very, very quick, very talented. He made everything you see in the store, he did by himself on the machine. So stop by Hussein. I'll try to put the link below, like the location, because it's close to where we're staying. That way you can see for yourself. But um, he's a real deal. We're very happy. So thank you again, bud. And peace are approved. Twins. Looks the exact same. All right, let's go. <laughs> By the way, this was not part of the budget. This was already taken care of before. It's like 500 pesos. Rupees. Or rupees. 500 <laughs> rupees. Stop by and check out. Thank you, Zane. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, bud. You. Thank you, sir. Oh my gosh, guys. We are so happy. It literally turned out even better than what I thought it was going to be. And like Will said, it was a quick turnaround. He does bags. He does shirts. He does hats. He does just patches. If you have an idea of, of a design, he would create it with you and voila it's done it looks swamp back there <laughs> Gloria, like, okay. <laughs> okay oh man what a great time in the fall it is let's get back to eating can you get two please thank you my favorite thing are just the spices and the sauces they have here are perfect if you love spicy Perfect. What's so cute about these places, you guys, is that there are these, technically they're kind of like hole in the walls all around Kathmandu. And as soon as you order, they kind of ask you to take a seat inside their little storefront. It may be small, but it does the job of you sitting down, enjoying the warm comfort food. Exactly. And just, it makes you really embrace the culture of the food scene here. And you also get to see like how they prepare it for you, which is really nice. So these are black lentils and green lentils, I believe. Are they together? Separate. And I got one yeah. of each. Yes. And another good thing about these is that they, all the ingredients are fresh. They just mash them together and then make it into these little pancakes. Oh wait, I don't think your second one, never mind. <laughs> it's like a veggie pancake. If you're a vegetarian, Nepal will be the best country for you to visit. Delight. Delight. They have so many vegetable options for you to order. And for those carnivores, there's also items for you too. And if you love starch, look at that as well. And they <laughs> love potatoes here. But I don't, yeah, we have not eaten this many potatoes in the longest time. No, ew, gross. <laughs> You already chewed off of it. No, ew. I see your teeth marks, bro. All right, what do we have left? All right, after those delicious fritters, we have 100, 200, 210, 220. We've eaten so much today, and I don't think I have it in me to keep on eating. I don't. Okay, so plan B. Oh, I know exactly what to do. Follow me. You've been juicing it up all day. This is part of my budget. <laughs> Your budget is ended like three hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> There's that for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. See you guys a couple hours later. It's packed. You gotta get there early when you can. That's true. Oh, I see it. I see where we're ending the video. No food vlog is complete without dessert. Also, the best part of this place is the name is called, you guessed it, Cherry on Top. Cherry on Top is vlog, guys, on this day of food. To be quite honest, we 
we've eaten a lot today and we've spent less than seven US dollars. That's, that shows you how far your money can go here in terms of food and not just food, but like genuinely good food. This is how you do it. Chocolate warm donuts. Yeah. It tastes like chocolate cake. It's so good. And with all that being said and eaten, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and we'll see you next time.